Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. And this is going to be fun today, Thomas, because we have four new iron models from Mizuno. The JPX 921 line is here. Four different models, the Tour, the Forged, Hot Metal Pro, and the Hot Metal. Uh, we know about Mizuno irons. They're always fantastic. But this is going to be really exciting. Again, four new models, and uh, I'm excited to watch you hit some shots. I think we're going to have a pretty uh, comprehensive test here in the, in the works. Yeah, I'm very excited that Mizuno were lucky enough to send these to us. So I'm really excited to test all four models. I've always talked about kind of workability and playability and forgiveness with, with irons. So we've got quite the range here between all four of them. We've got right. kind of more of a blade type all the way up to kind of more max kind of forgiveness iron. And it's just going to be fun to dive into the numbers and kind of see how the spin rate changes, how the distance changes how the forgiveness changed, how the work really changed, just kind of old. I'm really excited right. to see how it works out. Yeah, so we'll touch on the loft differences between, you know, we're gonna, we got four irons, we got seven irons, we got pitching wedge for all four models. Um, we're gonna touch on the loft differences, and then we got the shaft is Project X LZ 6.5, so that's the shaft Thomas plays, and now this year, that's actually the shaft I play. Um, so that's all gonna be the same and consistent throughout. Uh, I am really excited because this is basically, we're just going to break down all four models against one another. Uh, we're going to get data from you know, four iron and then seven iron and pitching wedge. So this is going to be basically everything you need to know about the Mizuno JPX 921 line. And we're going to get all the data from Thomas and his feedback here. Yeah, this is going to be a really exciting test. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these all perform. Yeah, let's get after it then. Sounds good. Well, Thomas, the hot metal uh, of the JPX 921 line, game improvement iron. Uh, Mizuno irons have been touted for a long time for feel and sound as well, having I mean, a soft sound. What do you think of that? It actually felt pretty good. It's, uh, is this forged? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not, okay. So it, it felt pretty good. So, I mean, Mizuno in, in general, across across the board, have always felt very, very good off the, off the club face. Yeah. It is probably one of the better feeling Game of Fruit Irons that I probably fell off the club face for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the sound didn't seem loud either. From it wasn't, it wasn't just loud, it. it wasn't like clicky per se, I guess. It was just, yeah, it was just solid, solid off the face. Yeah, and yep. I mean, looking at the numbers too, I know that's 29 degrees of loft, which is more like almost a six iron for you. Yep. Um, but, you know, you carried it over 200 on average, 210.6 total, 145 smash. I mean, you're hitting it solid, so that was a good start there for the JPX 921 line. Yeah, the 29 degrees of loft definitely helps with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thomas, you said you noticed a difference in the feel a little bit. Uh, can you elaborate on that? What was the difference that you noticed? Well, it, I don't know. I know it's the same kind of material. But it did feel, I don't know why, it just felt a little softer. And maybe that's just me reflecting the fact that looking down at the club heads a little bit smaller. Yeah. I was maybe expecting kind of more of that kind of player's feel off, off the face. Mm -hmm. um, we went kind of the same distance is what I would have expected. The first couple I got a little bit low on the face and were a little bit spinny. But the last one did still carry over 200 yards. Yeah. They're both 29 degrees of loft on them. So right. kind of doing this, the same, same thing. But and this the... is definitely more appealing on the eye to me. Okay, because yeah. what about, is it the top line smaller, the length um, from heel to toe a little shorter, or is it it's kind of both of them? It's kind of a combination of both. I definitely can notice the top line for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the hot metal definitely is a little larger profile. This is just a little more kind of compact profile. Look, look down at it. So it's gotcha. like it. Yeah, it's just like a little small juiced <laughs> club. <laughs> well, let's get to the forged. Yeah. Okay. Thomas three with the JPX 921 forged. Now, yeah, that's a fully forged body of an iron there. Does that feel, like, does it feel much different than the past two irons you hit? Feels incredible. Yeah? It feels really good. Yeah, definitely can notice the, the difference in, in feel. This is one really sexy club. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is a good, good looking club, looking down at, yeah. Your dispersion, by the way, so far is incredible. So, uh, and then the loft is 31 degrees, so a little stronger than a traditional seven iron, but 
uh, the look of that at address, and then and we already talked about the feel, but then kind of the performance there about 186 to 188 carry. Is that about what you'd expect? Yeah, so what is it? When normally, normal carry is about 178 to 180 yeah. with a 34 degree club. So say, I usually like to say every degree of loft is about three to four yards, yeah. add nine to 10 yards. Right there, you said, well, 187 approximately? Yeah, 186.8 was the average. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of doing the exact same thing I would expect for a club that's got 31 degrees of loft on it yeah. versus 34. Now, I know the 9, 919 used to have 32, so this is one degree stronger than the okay. 919. Okay, yep. interesting. Yep. All right, yeah, and then you mentioned the, the feel was great. Performance was, as you would probably expect, what does that look like? Does it look, because we had you know basically two more or less game improvement irons prior. Yep. The forge is kind of in between, probably a player's distance, really. Um, how does that look and how does it compare to maybe other players' distance models? I could definitely see like the gradual difference from the Hot Metal to Hot Metal Pro then to the Forged. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say the Forged and the Hot Metal Pro are very kind of similar in, yeah. in look, looking looking down at. I can notice there's just a little bit more loft on this, on this club because yeah. I know it's two degrees uh, weaker, but that's kind of the only thing I can kind of really notice. Uh, I'd say compared to the Hot Metal Pro, just the level of forgiveness is just yeah. a little bit more of the Pro versus this, but it's maybe it. a little bit more workable kind of thing. Sure, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's get to the JPX 921 Tour now, which okay. is player's iron. I'm excited for that. Okay, Thomas, I need to get your initial impressions on the 921 Tour here, the JPX 921 Tour. Uh, sort of that player's cavity category, um, forged iron. What do you think about that one? Yeah, the feel is incredible. Definitely a sleeker looking club to look down at. That, that top line, club head size in general is a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Definitely more of a player's iron looking down at it for right. sure. Loft, you can definitely notice there's a little more loft on it again. Yeah, uh, I noticed maybe a slightly kind of higher, spinnier kind of bull flight when I, when I was hitting this one. Yeah, I didn't. I had a couple of bad swings in there, so I got punished a little bit by maybe not making the best swings. I noticed I had one kind of the right and a couple of what did to the left. Yeah, so I feel like my dispersion was just a, kind of a little bit off with it. But I mean, it's a very, very good looking golf club. Uh, looking down at, I just didn't maybe put the best three right. swings to start out on it. There. Right. Well, that's so. why we're going to come back and hit three more. Right. That's uh, it. Yeah. So I mean, you talked about the dispersed and now that does mean workability right so I mean uh, generally it's kind of that spectrum right so less forgiveness more workability yep uh, so it looks like you get and it, it makes sense the most workability in this iron line is going to be with the 921 tour model so um, I mean those three shots your carry distance was 180.2 186.2 total so I know that's very similar to your seven iron gamer and you know that 34 degrees of loft is that's what you'd expect, you know, a little yep. bit less distance as well. So, yeah, I mean, Mizuno always delivers the irons, and so far that they're off to a good, great start here. They're off to a great start. So let's uh, hit three more with each, and then we'll take a look at the numbers of those seven irons. Yep. We've now got six shots logged with the JPX 921 hot metal, uh, seven iron here. And we're looking at the data here, your average carry at 198, total 206.8, uh, the 145 smash, of course. So, and I did notice right away after hitting the tour and then coming back to hot metal, you can notice that difference in sound. I'm sure you noticed it with feel a little bit as well. Yep, it's definitely louder, um, definitely louder off the face. Now it's not so much where it's louder and Harsher. There's definitely other game improvement models that are oh, that maybe yeah. don't quite feel quite as good as the Mizuno irons mm -hmm. do. I think Mizuno did a great job on feel, even in the game improvement category. Yeah. Um, I can definitely notice the size for sure. It looks more like a six iron to me now. Yeah. No, no one going from 34 degrees a lot to 29. Um, but it's you know it's forgiving. That's for sure. I mean, 198 seven iron, pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good right now. So. Yeah, and I mean I know yeah. some of the distance irons, so to speak, that. We've hit in some of our tests. I know 
it's been rare that you've eclipsed 200 carry. It's kind of been hovering around there, and it, you know, maybe sometimes once in a while you'll pop over 200 carry. And here you had a few of them that did. So yep. um, that's worth noting there. And your spin, of course, was you know it's going to be less than the forged and the tour. Yep. Uh, so at 55.27. So okay. yeah, that's let's get to the hot metal pro here, and then we can see how the, how those two compare over six shots. Sounds good. That one was smoked. Yeah, that that's one right on top of the good. flag right there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, the Hot Metal Pro Thomas. Now, um, I'm looking at the numbers here. That one, first of all, that one was blasted. That yeah, did you get all the 200 carry, right? Yeah, yep, yep, that did. That spin rate stayed down too on that one, which was under actually 5,000. So, okay, uh, that's kind of part of the reason that one carried so far. But in total, uh, your smash factor is actually 147 on average hmm. with this Hot Metal Pro. So that's that's not bad. It's pretty efficient with the with the seven iron. Uh, yep. One ninety eight point seven carry, two hundred eight total. So those numbers are actually a little bit further than. Well, the I hot think one ninety eight carry was the exact same as hot metal, right? Yeah. Well, that's I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> fraction of a, yeah. of a you know fraction of yeah. a yard. But I, I'm not so much of a robot here. Right. <laughs> well, and I was gonna say part of it is you, I think there's a couple that are maybe left out to the yeah. right with the hot metal, uh, hot metal pro that you struck that beautifully uh, all throughout those six shots. So uh, again, you know, more compact head. But the same loft as the hot metal. Same loft, same distance. Mm -hmm. Kind of what I was kind of getting at yeah. there. Uh, for me, I feel like, I mean, looking down at this and the feel on this one, I don't know what it is. It's with the hot metal pro. It does just feel a little bit crisper off the face, a little softer. I don't know. Yeah. I know it's the same uh, material as, essentially, but it, I just, I don't know. It just, look, maybe the smaller club face just gave, gives me the perception yeah. that I'm hitting a more player's iron, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it, it felt really good, and like you said, I feel like the dispersion was even a little tighter with this smaller club head than it was with the hot metal, actually, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's get to, you know, we'll move closer to that player's category that you like to hit, so we'll go back to the forged and then the tour here. Okay. Okay, so Thomas, one thing you just mentioned right away is you had to double check that you had the right club because <laughs> you thought the well, you think the Forge and the Hot Metal Pro look so much alike that you can't really tell the difference out of dress. I literally had to double check and make sure I had the right club in my hand. So <laughs> I, I, that was definitely one thing kind of noticed there. I mean, yeah, I, two degrees aloft, yeah, I can notice that slightly, but I had to double check so the top line, mm -hmm. the club size in general, it just seemed very similar to the Hot Metal Pro and the um, and the forged essentially with very very similar mm -hmm. in looks yeah and then yeah. right away you clarify and say well the feel is very different yeah. right so it's a little bit softer you can tell that it's fully forged compared yep. to kind of that chromoly uh, steel uh, type build for the hot metal hot metal pro spin is the big difference between the forged and the hot metal and hot metal pro right now at 6500 average with the forged and then both of the other the hot metal hot metal pro are around 5500 so okay. um, but your dispersion is impressive with the forge. So you're right around the center line, kind of, you know, you're splitting basically the center line. Okay. So uh, that's really impressive to see. And now I'm curious to see how that the tour compares. Uh, Cause you had a, one that kind of, you really smashed I think with the tour and it kind of kept up, but we'll see how our six shots things average out here. Okay, sounds good. So Thomas, the JPX 921 Tour, um, dispersion is pretty good. A little bit left of maybe the other left. ones. Yep. Uh, but the dispersion in terms of the actual size, the circle is pretty pretty solid. The distance was consistent. Let's put it that right. way. Yep. I felt like I didn't maybe put my best swings on the club per, per se on, on those six shots overall, which is why my dispersion is not where I would want it kind of to be. But right. it was going the right distance essentially. It was, I was about 178 to 180 approximately overall. Yep. Yeah, yeah, 179. So, 179, there you go, solid. <laughs> so, 
doing the right distance, going the right distance. So I wasn't getting any jumpers or flyers or anything right. like that. So that was the consistency of having a little more loft on the club. But as I said, the other one's a little more forgiving. The other three yeah. models were more forgiving than this model here too. So you gotta be a decent bull striker to play this club. Right, that was one remark you made was that, you know, I think you maybe missed one a little bit and you kind of said, well, the forgiveness dropped a little bit. So yeah. um, then the spin, for what it's worth, the two are over 7,000, 71.55 on average. Okay. So um, that's kind of, you're seeing that gradual increase of, that's also with the loft involved, also the club model and the club yeah. build as, having the effect on that so loft and where the center of gravity is kind of moved around yeah. that kind of help the forgiveness and the launch and everything changes the spin around right so, absolutely yeah. so i mean these numbers you know the hot metal hot metal pro very similar in terms of distance then you have to forge that probably about nine to ten yards short of the hot metal models and then another 10 yards shorter in terms of carry for the tour so okay. pretty much what we'd expect at least based on loft and then you mentioned the feel and the aesthetics of all of them really are are pretty solid as we would expect from Mizuno. Now, one thing that is a benefit to having Mizuno release, you know, four iron models sort of in the same line is the option of a combo set. And we talk about this all the time. I just got one for this year. Yep. A combo set, you know, where you could play, you know, one different model at the top of the set, another one at the bottom. We have the four iron and the pitching wedge here of each of them. Why don't we just hit those a little bit and maybe get a sort of a feel for the different combo sets out there. Now, again, the loss will have to be tweaked uh, for a combo set to actually work. You can't just do the standard loss of all these, but a combo set uh, can be a big benefit for players that might not be a complete fit for one set all the way through the bag. Yeah, I like, I, I love the idea of combo sets. I do it myself. Yeah. I do a cavity back, then I do blade for seven through for pitching wedge. So that's definitely a great option, whether that being the Mizuno JPX 921 or even the MP20 line. Yeah, true. You'd even maybe add, combine the two of them. You yeah. can kind of do that, which is kind of really, really nice there. Um, but as you mentioned, yes, the loft is going to be very, very important when you do that because we don't want to just all of a sudden do like a, a hot metal and then jump to like a, say for example, a forged. Yeah. Because there's two degrees of loft essentially there, so you're going to have to make yeah. sure the gapping is adequate. Yeah, you're going to have to bend one stronger, yeah. one weaker maybe yep. and to make it work. But when they are blended together with the right loft, that can be a great uh, blend and a great combination of, of benefits and performance characteristics to have in the bag. So. Let's go through the four irons, maybe. We okay. want to start with four irons. Yeah, let's start with four irons. Let's hit a couple of each one and, and see how far the four irons go on with each one and see how they will kind of appear. Perfect. Let's do that. So Thomas, this has 19 degrees of loft, the four iron for the hot metal yep. model. Um, that almost played like, it seemed like almost a driving iron, like a utility club, because it had kind of that lower launch to it, but uh, you know, it had a nice little draw to it, and that's like, you know, we, it's not uncommon to see better players, better ball strikers put like a game improvement model in their bag at the top, yep. like a four iron, three iron uh, for that purpose. So what did you think about that? Because I know, um, that's something, that's an idea at least you've played around with a little bit. What was the total distance that was going? I got, the carry was about 220 to 230. Yep. Your total distance, that last one was 246. 246. So, even though it is a four iron, yes, a little stronger lofted, you could definitely play around with playing this as, like you said, like kind of that, that driving iron or a more forgiving mm -hmm. iron off, off, the, off the ground there as well. Yeah. Keep in mind, this would also hit it off the ground. So, I could always play it off the tee and get that thing to really kind of chase yeah. out there with, with, with no spin. It's forgiving, yeah, really, really forgiving. Um, going kind of the right distance that I'd want this club to go, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to tweak the lofts a little bit if I was to do a combo set with yeah. this, or I could just play this as, I could probably have two four irons in the bag. Right, kind of thing that's how the well. loft is different. You know? yeah. That's the point where you could have a four iron that's probably 22, 23, I'm guessing, in, yep. in your set, and then the 19 right here could be a three iron with a number four on the, on the club. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a, Pretty good performer there. So. If I was looking for a club that was going to go 230 to 240, this would be a good option. Yep. All right, let's get to the Hot Metal Pro then, see how that okay. compares. All right, Thomas, one of the things that you said right away was 
that you noticed a big difference in the, the size, like of the four iron, the hot metal and the hot metal pro at address. Now you're looking at them now, what do you see? It's, it's that top line for sure. With the hot metal, yeah, that top line's like at least a third larger with the hot metal versus the hot metal pro, kind of looking down at it. Um, and then you can kind of see the sole is evident as, as well, a little bit larger with the hot metal versus the hot metal pro. Mm -hmm. um, which is kind of interesting. You'd think the little larger club head would maybe be a little more forgiving, we go a little bit further. I feel like I hit the hot metal pro better than I hit the, the yeah. actual hot metal there too. Which I think we saw with the seven iron as well. And I think that's just me looking down at the smaller head versus the larger right. head and that like forces my attention to maybe hit a better shot or something like that. But yeah. Yeah, I mean so I'm looking at the dispersion map here and there's two of them that are in terms of carry are right on top of each other, so it looks like there's two dots. Yep. But there's three and so and they're a little bit farther actually than the hot metal. So interesting. Yeah. Um, and that could be just you know better strikes there because those three were right on your target line. So. They were, yeah. They were they were nice and straight. I really, yeah. I like the hot metal pro a lot actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe another consideration in the bag, <laughs> huh? Consideration, yeah. Uh, I'm always looking for something that's gonna fill that gap for me. That's between uh, 230 and 250. Mm -hmm. It's a hard club for me to find. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's get to the forge now because that's where I think we'll see some numbers change a little bit. Okay. Okay, Thomas, 21 degrees on the forged four iron here. Uh, that dispersion again, in terms of the left to right dispersion, again, incredible. For those three, I mean, the three shots with that far, you know, a club that's going 230, 240 down the, down the middle, that's pretty good. Um, you know, the spin, uh, looking at the, the numbers here on the spin, not a ton of different from the Hot Metal Pro or the Hot Metal okay. four iron there. So that kind of stayed down. Yep. Yep. Um, what were your impressions of it? Yeah, I, you know, I definitely looking down once again between these, these two. For some reason, I have a hard time, kind of, in looks and in difference looking down on them. They You're do talking about the Forge and the Hot Metal Pro. The Forge and the Hot Metal Pro, yeah. I can see a little bit more here when I'm still looking down at the two, and maybe see a little bit more kind of the backside. Okay. With the with the Pro, but otherwise, top line is very 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 similar. Toes a little larger with the, with the Pro, but the. The forged, you know, I've definitely noticed the feel for sure. Yeah. It's forged versus yeah. not forged, so that's the biggest kind of difference between the two of them. And then I know you mentioned dispersion. I feel like you're being pretty generous to me because I feel like any time I go from the more forgiving iron to the more workable iron is, I have that trend tendency to maybe draw the ball a little yeah. bit more. So I feel like I was hitting a couple more of the left. I think this one I was like, stop drawing because it was essentially more workable. Yeah, no, no that's yeah. how that's, I mean, if we're going to compare it to the Hot Metal Pro, it's not yeah. really fair. Because Hot Metal Pro dispersion is is yeah. out of this world. But you're the, speaking to someone that's a perfectionist. Yes, so yes. I get, I get to the. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, well, I mean, let's see what the 921 Tour does then, because if you're going to be picky about this dispersion, I mean, hopefully you better be on your game. I better be on the, my game the for these right? three swings. Yeah. <laughs> All right. JPX 21 uh, or 921 Tour. Um, what did you think about that? I think the height for sure went up a little bit there compared to the previous ones. Yeah, the the last shot I really had to work really hard to straighten myself out. I feel like it was harder for me to straight. I really yeah. had to really kind of focus kind of my attention. The first two were a little bit further to the left. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the carry distance was more consistent, so it was more in the the 210 to 220 yeah. range, um, which is what I normally see out of a four iron versus a four iron that hot and goes yeah. really far. So there's definitely a little bit more spin associated right. with the, this club here as well. Yep, a little yeah. bit more of what you would expect from a four iron. I mean, that spin there, 40, the last shot there was 46.21. Okay. Average there is 43, so. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty solid. Now, with the pitching wedge, well, what are the numbers first, as you move into that, what are the numbers that you have from your pitching wedge? About 140 carry. 140 carry, okay. Yep. And you're thinking spin would be nine to 10,000, somewhere in there? Yeah, nine to 10,000. Okay. Yeah, usually Wait. nine, about 9,500 is kind of my average spin with my pitching wedge. Yeah. Okay, well yeah, let's get into the pitching wedge. 
uh, for each one and okay. see how that does. Sounds good. Okay, Thomas, the JPX 921, 921 hot metal pitching wedge, 44 degrees of loft. What do you think about that one? It was pretty forgiving and pretty easy to hit. I feel like I hit that on the exact same line, all three swings there. Um, forgiving, it's not really like workable for me, so it's definitely just kind of flew straight every single yeah. time. Um, it's definitely going further than what my normal pitching wedge would go. I believe I was carrying it in the 150 mark. Yeah, you were. it was up there, which part of that's loft, but then part yep. of that too is just that this club is built to fly. So. Yep. Uh, 155 carry, 160 total with pitching wedge there. So yep. um, that's, I mean, it, it sounded pretty good. Felt pretty good, right? Yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, I mean, for a forgiving club, now hitting the four iron, the seven iron, and the pitching wedge and for game improvement area, and the game improvement area, it does feel pr probably one of the better game improvement irons that I've ever felt off the club face. Yeah. So I think Mizuno's done an excellent job here. I can't think of any. Game max game improvement irons that yeah. feel as good as these. So right. I mean, when it comes to game improvement irons, these it's are. It's not incredible. that like, yeah, like uh, I don't want to say obnoxious is the word, but like some of these game improvement irons out there, especially in that you talked about super game improvement, they yeah. have sort of a louder uh, feel and sound to them that uh, you can just hear like across the golf course almost. And yep. these are very muted in that aspect. So that's really good again for Mizuno with the hot metal. Uh, Seven iron, four iron, and pitching wedge. So. And then forty-four degrees of loft versus some other max or game improvement irons, essentially for the pot metal. Um, it's a little bit more loft than others have had. Yeah, the so yeah, some that are going help. very strong and going, yeah. going almost radical with the loft decreasing on some of these iron yeah. sets. If I have a forty-one or forty-two degree loft pitching wedge, it's not going to help with my gapping. So this helps kind of with the gapping. We'll talk about gapping maybe in the conclusion here and how the four iron, yeah. seven iron pitching wedge distance goes. Yeah. It's going to help probably better than gapping. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Let's get to the Hot Metal Pro then. Okay. All right, Thomas, I know you're a big fan of Hot Metal Pros based on hitting now the pitching wedge with the 7 iron and the 4 iron. I know that's uh, You've liked the look of them as sort of a game improvement iron, but kind of just a smaller version of it. Uh, it seems like that's a great option for golfers that are in that game improvement category, but don't want a clunkier club head. Yeah, it is. I don't know what about it. It just, it feels good. Mm -hmm. I, I, obviously it's the same material, but I would definitely lean towards hot metal pro versus hot metal based on my playing ability, essentially, right. just with being a little sleeker club head looking down at, and it just doesn't look like it's a game improvement iron what it right. kind of comes down to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's a good looking club. Now, one thing to mention, spin is down with these, and that's that's gonna happen with, um, you know, a game improvement iron. It's not yep. gonna be up in that 9,000, 10,000 range, so. Um, so just a differently designed club. Right. Not, I'm, and, not gonna, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna spin it. Like right, well now let's spin. get to something closer to something that you're used to with, that could get up to that spin range, uh, the forged here, then the tour. Okay, sounds good. Pretty good. Yeah, 921 Forge now in the JPX line. That spin did go up as we sort of anticipated. Um, and of course with the weaker loft now, right? We're two degrees weaker at 46 degrees. Yeah, the build in the so, loft, yep. Yeah, that's gonna yep. go into it. So um, dispersion in terms of distance dispersion is pretty solid. Uh, I know you had to think one, maybe you missed to the left a little bit there, but um, yeah, I mean, pretty solid, right? Feel. I mean, to switch over to forged, it's. I love the forged feel. I mean, the forged feel. You can't, you can't get away with it with the Mizuno irons. They feel incredible when yeah. it comes to feel. They always have. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's Mizuno's calling card for decades now with their irons. Has been yep. that forged feel with their grain flow forging process, and it seems to work really well with 
the Forge Mile here. We'll get to another Forged Iron Tour, wrap up all these iron swings that you've hit today. Sounds good. Now the pitching wedge of the JPX 921 Tour. Um, the numbers, you know, the spin went up as to kind of what we'd expect, right? 9,000 to 10,000 range. Um, it took us a while in the pitching wedge to kind of get up there and with, throughout the four models, what we did. Um, what do you think? I mean, I know forge feel, uh, it's very soft sounding uh, from my vantage point. So I know that probably appeals to you in terms of feel. Yeah, the sound very, very muted off the club face and incredible forge feel. I'll kind of yeah. say that again with Mizuno. Um, I don't want to over repeat it, but it is definitely very noticeable versus the two game improvement irons then jump into the GPX Forged and then the GPX Tour uh, models. Um, for me, the turf interaction was so much cleaner come, coming through with, with this wedge. I just okay. feel like I'm going to get more out of them, I'm going to work the ball a little bit better. Yeah. Just, it just, it, it impacts felt really good. It, yeah. there's, there's just no other way to say it than Mizuno irons forged feel. You, you really can't beat them per se they're just that is really good. right yeah i think the sh yeah. maybe a little bit sharper leading edge there maybe helping with the tour the turf interaction yep possibly uh, but yeah this is you have a lot of data here thomas uh that's a lot of golf swings that you just made so the best way to rec recap it here is to give it to you uh <laughs> let you break it down uh, with your fitter expertise and we can really dive into the 920 uh, jpx 921 mizuno iron line figure out you know which golfers are best for which irons Sounds good. So Thomas, you've got the data for a ton of golf shots uh, with the Mizuno JPX 921 irons, four different models. We hit, well, you hit a lot of shots. I just didn't watch. <laughs> um, give us the feedback. Give us the data uh, takeaways, the insights, because I know we'll, we'll kind of start with pitching wedge just because um, you know, we kind of did pitching wedge four iron, just a little bit of data there, and then we'll really hammer the seven iron data, which there's double. Of, yep. So we'll get into that, but give me your feedback here. Yeah, so pitching wedge, start with that. So I'm looking here, the uh, 921 Tour for yeah. me was probably the most consistent with regards to distance. Okay. So it was carrying 140.8, which is very, very close to how far I normally carry my current pitching wedge. I mentioned kind of around about 140 yeah. is, is my number there. It's got 46 degrees aloft on it. Um, so it was kind of performing pretty well right across the board. It had 93.26 RPM to spin on average. That's kind of what I like yeah. expect, nine to 10,000 out of a player's iron or blade, essentially, that's yeah. gonna give me stop and power workability, kind of all the right. above there. Um, if we look, kind of look at any other things we kind of see here, um, as we go, essentially, from the most amount of loft, kind of then to the least amount of loft, you can notice how the spin rate kind of changes a little bit there too, and then the distance changes. So. If we next look, the 921 Forge, which would be kind of the more next player's iron, I guess, yeah. um, carried 148.9. So it was going about eight yards further. Yeah. It does have a little bit less loft. I think we talked about 45 degrees yeah. of loft is on the, on the Forge, and that's kind of what I would expect, yeah. a little bit, little bit more loft. I was swinging one mile an hour faster with that, so not too much more. I was between 85 and 86 with each pitching wedge. So I was pretty, pretty close yeah. there. Um, but I did notice with the 921 Tour, I did swing one mile an hour less than the other three. Okay. So that could be part of the reason why. It's just a little bit of separation there. From could the be a reason yep. why my distance with the pitching range didn't go 143. Yeah. That's kind of right. yeah. the only thing we kind of noticed there. Um, and then the spin, dr spin dropped a little bit, so 8630. So about 800 RPMs of spin um, between the 921 Tour and then 921 Forged. Then if we look at the Hot Metal Pro and the Hot Metal, the spin was 6,300 to 6,800, so quite considerable less amount of spin. Yeah. 44 degrees aloft on both those two, I'd expect that. But it's kind of interesting how the spin rate really kind of jumped from pretty, right. pretty high spin to really about 2,000 RPMs less spin. Right, I think we noted right, noted right away the spin was pretty far uh, lower with the pitching wedges there than kind of we're used to seeing out of a pitching wedge. Uh, but then it did get back up there. So that's one thing that to note too, if you are someone that maybe spins the ball a ton, uh, you know, the, this is gonna give you lower spin, which you might need uh, in your 
in your game is with the pitching wedge and the lower irons of the hot metal and hot metal pro iron sets. So yep. one to consider there as well. And pitching wedge with both those two are carrying 155. So same metal loft on them. Yeah. Loft, yeah, loft is everything. <laughs> loft is everything. Creates, it, it, it influences the spin, influences your total distance. If you're yep. swinging the same, it's not going to change there yep. at all. Uh, let's jump to four iron next. So four iron at the other end of the spectrum here. Um, if we look, you can see the Hot Metal Pro. I talked about how I really like this right. iron as we're going through. The dispersion looks like there's two dots, but there's actually three dots yeah. there. Tiniest of dispersion actually was kind of furthest up with regards to distance as well. Uh, it was going 231, carry going 251. It's pretty pretty good for a four yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's it's impressive. I'm very, very impressed with that club. Mm -hmm. um, it's something to consider for me. I talk about how I like 230, 250 trying to find a club. So that thing was really, really impressive. Yeah. Um, 1.48 smash factor, which is pretty good. Uh, very, yep. efe very efficient. Very yeah. efficient. Yep. So very good. It was the highest efficiency. Um, if we look here and see hot metal was 148 as well. Forged JPX Forged 921 was also 148, and then if we look and see uh, with the uh, um, tour, it was one four iron tour is 146. So 146 was a little bit okay. less efficiency, but all of them very very high efficiency yeah. for a for a four iron. So very very good there. Um, if we jump, kind of work our way back, it was actually the same thing kind of happened. The spin, the least least amount of loft on the club was the least amount of yeah. spin more loft was kind of more spin there as well so it ranged from me hitting it up to 251 yards with that hot metal pro and we've looked at the tour it was going 235 total 220 carry with versus 231 carry yeah um, and then i kind of talked about with the tour versus the other three was my left to right dispersion yeah so if i look on the left screen i can see this yellow yeah circ circling notice it was kind of the furthest left yeah to right so a little harder for me to hit mm -hmm. that club versus the others that just blew basically dead straight. Right. So that would forget a lot more forgiving than maybe the tour was. Yeah, and then uh, we also mentioned this before, but I'll touch on it again. Uh, you know, the workability too is going to be increased with a tour model um, versus the other ones. And that is kind of why there was a little bit more curvature um, with the tour model. I think overall between the four iron, seven iron and pitching wedge, there was just a little bit more curvature, which is what you're gonna get out of the player's iron. Yep. Very accurate. Um, and then jump into seven iron. So seven iron, we hit six shots with each club here. Um, so we kind of take a look at the, the dispersion. What's really interesting for me to stand out is the 921 tour was significantly less in distance and also significantly further left as well. Yeah. Um, there is one green dot that's a little further apart, but all these other five green dots were very, very close together, carrying about 180 yards. Yep. Um, on average, I was carrying 179. Point seven, which that's exactly, exactly what you're expecting, right? What I would expect in about 7,000 RPM to spin. Um, and then if we look at the others, the forge was just a little bit further up the screen. Actually, was the smallest dispersion out of them all, which is kind of, which is really kind of interesting. 189 carry, so okay. I believe it's 31 degrees aloft on that mm -hmm. too, right? Yep. So we essentially have three degrees um, yep. more, sorry, less loft. And that's why it went 10 yards further, essentially. Right. So I say yep. three to four yards. It's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty accurate there. Um, and then the other two. So the Hot Metal Pro and the Hot Metal look like they're going pretty similar on distance here. I can see on the dispersion, the blue and the red circles, very, very straight. Yeah. So yes, they're going further. Yes, my dispersion is going to be large when something goes right. further there as well, which is kind of really interesting to see. Um, hot Metal was 199.6 on average. 200 yards, seven yeah. irons, pretty um, <laughs> incredible. And the Hot Metal Pro was 200.3. So off by about 0.9 between yeah. the two of them. Right. Uh, the Hot Metal Pro, once again, I've kind of talked about how I hit that thing really, really solid and yeah. really happy with that club. Even looking down compared to the Hot Metal Pro and the JPX Forge, they very look very, yeah. very kind of similar. And the forgiveness level was there between those two. And I think that's going to be a lot of the times you're gonna be asking fitters, what's the difference between these two clubs? It's gonna be kind of workability, and yeah. it's gonna be just a little bit more added forgiveness with the Hot Metal Pro versus the um, the JPS Forge, but right. both gonna be very right. good. Well then, of course, forward. you touched on the feel too uh, throughout. Oh, yes. Once you jumped yep. to that forged, you did notice that feel on the Mizuno iron, and I think one thing to take away too is 
we did notice the workability of factor play in here because it seems like in each club, you know, the more of a, I guess, going into the smaller club head, player's iron, that draw of yours kind of took more effect, right? Whereas with the hot metal, maybe it didn't quite hook to the left as much uh, as maybe the JPX921 Tour, so. Yeah, there was definitely just less side spin right. on the more forgiving clubs. Yeah, yeah. and that's gonna do a center of gravity, a couple of the, the build, plus the loft as well, so. Yep. Uh, but that's a lot of golf shots, Thomas, <laughs> and a lot of data that you just broke down, so. That's some great information. And Mizuno irons are always, you know, highly anticipated when they're released. So I know this is going to be a very popular one for, uh, I mean, there's Mizuno lovers out there that play only Mizuno and get new Mizuno irons, but also anybody out there. I've played Mizuno irons in the past. I love them. That feel, like Thomas is saying, that's no joke. Uh, those Mizuno irons feel incredible. So uh, the golfers out there that are looking for some new irons uh, want some great performance, great feel. Mizuno JPX 921 irons, four different models. Uh, available. You can stop into a second swing store, you can talk to Thomas or any one of our fitters on our staff and they will get you lined up with some irons that will help you hit more greens, uh, hit better feeling iron shots and better performing iron shots. So Thomas, thank you for all the work today. <laughs> it was no pretty problem. good. Yeah, this was a fun test. It was always fun. I always talk about data. I always like get more and more data. Yeah. This was about 40 or 50 swings. <laughs> uh, this is one of our more comprehensive tests yeah. that we've done. is quite the ultimate test for Mizuno irons.